Chino! <laughs> Stephen, Ansel and Rachel, a big g'day from Down Under. Congratulations on a truly sensational motion picture. The lighting alone, oh my goodness, a couple of terrific performances. You've just made one brand new fan of West Side Story. We love hearing that. Hey. Hey. Jason, oh. good. <laughs> Now, Mr. Spielberg or Stephen, Stephen, given your history, Stephen, okay, given your history with West Side Story going back to your childhood, mm -hmm. is it fair to say you've spent a lifetime preparing to make this film? And was it a cakewalk? Uh, oh, no, 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 no cakewalk. Um, matter of fact, uh, there was a time where I felt I had bit off more than I could chew uh, because it was just a massively comp complex production, including, you know, months and months of, of rehearsal, dance, song, recording, orchestral recordings, so many layers and levels to, to accomplish this. But yeah, you're right. I've been a fan of this since I was 10 years old and my mom and dad brought home the original Broadway cast album of West Side Story from the 1957 Broadway musical. And I wore the record out and I, within two weeks, I had memorized every song and I was walking around the house singing West Side Story as a 10 year old. So somehow this is something that I know in my DNA, I was just, you know, I, 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 I expected at some point I would do something like this, but I was so honored that the estates, all four of them, including Stephen Sondheim himself, trusted me with the rights to adapt, not the 61 movie. This isn't a remake of that. This is a, 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 a reimagining of the 1957 Broadway musical. And I just feel so honored and grateful to them that they would trust me with uh, their baby. At the end of the film, For Dad Flashes Up, we also see Riff uh, eat a Milky Way in the film. Does, you know, has this experience reconnected you with your childhood? Oh, for, for me? Um, no, not, 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 no, no, no single film reconnects me with my childhood since I continue to really believe I'm, re I'm living my childhood every day. With every year I get older, I still feel I'm reliving my childhood. So there's no trigger point for me. It's just that, you know, making movies, you know, keeps you young and enthusiastic and eclectic. I love it. Let's talk about your incredible young stars that have joined us here. Um, can you give us a, a glimpse of how you cast these two actors? I feel like Baby Driver was probably the perfect uh, start for Ansel. And then for Rachel, chosen out of 30,000 applicants, now gone on to be cast as Snow White. It seems to endorse your choice of putting her in West Side Story. <laughs> well, you know, uh, there were 30,000 um, applications, meaning... Uh, young people sent in their own, you know, videos of themselves singing and dancing. And there were 30,000 for four roles for, for Tony and Maria and for Anita and Bernardo. So 30,000 for those, which means there were a lot more than 30,000 for all the other roles that came in. Um, Rachel, ironically, was the second actor I saw on my first day of viewing some of these tapes. I didn't have to look at 30,000, but Cindy Tolan, who cast the film, she did the first pass. And the second person I saw in the morning, a year before I actually cast Rachel, was Rachel. <laughs> and Ansel, I had in my mind, I, I didn't know if he could sing, but I had him in my mind from the moment I met him at one of those night before parties, uh, because my daughters kept dragging me over to the center of this party to say, Dad, you got to introduce me to, to, to Ansel. I got to meet this guy. So my kids, my, I have four daughters, and three of them who were at the party with me, uh, brought me over to meet Ansel for the first time. And then, of course, then when, when um, I got a chance to see Baby Driver, uh, my feeling was, oh, I hope this kid can sing and dance. Because <laughs> I'm pretty good for this. Well, let's, let's move on to, to Rachel and Ansel in the last couple of minutes we have less, left. Guys, can you speak to the experience of working with Steven Spielberg and how incredibly complex it is to give an emotive performance and hit what must be an extraordinary amount of technical marks for lighting and musical cues and, and like all of that? You want to take that answer? <laughs> uh, I'll just say, you know, I've... This is Rachel's first movie, so it's, it's amazing that it gets to be her first movie. I've been on a bunch of sets, and this is the most incredible set I've ever been on. Everyone is, like, so A-plus and so good at their job, and the energy on set is so positive, so excited. You know, there was a T-shirt made at the end that said, like, working for the man. You know, like, <laughs> Steven, you know, and... <laughs> 
That wasn't and, my ID. I didn't make that up. <laughs> <laughs> and, and yeah, it was like, you know, uh, uh, one of the sound engineers made that shirt. But, you know, like uh, being also working with Stephen, you're being pushed so much. And that, you know, you mentioned, you know, how you give a, your best kind of performance. And Stephen would push us uh, through, you know, sometimes with tough love, sometimes with love. Uh, and that's the, all you can ask for as an actor to feel like there's someone who wants the best out of you. And then everyone is giving their best, the whole crew, everyone from the PAs to Mr. Spielberg himself. So every, you want you wanted to do your best work. And it was just an absolute pleasure being on that set. It was also the And how did you find it, Rachel? It, I just, it was the knowledge of, um, of, of, it was knowing that Stephen cared just as much about this project as we did, as we, you know, we were so passionate about bringing it to life. Stephen was so passionate about telling it and having the opportunity to do so himself. And, and when you, when you know that there's a lot of trust, there's a trust, a trust bond formed with you and your leader to, to guide you through something that can be absolutely terrifying and that what's terrifying is vulnerability in front of a camera, knowing that you're going to be perceived by so many people. Um, in my case, doing a lot of crying and a lot of singing and a lot of everything. Um, and there's that, that, that knowledge was really important for all of us from, from the PAs to, to Ansel and myself, uh, you know, three stories up in the air singing on a fire escape. Live. Well, congratulations. Live, yes. Five stories. <laughs> it, it, it comes out on Boxing Day in Australia. Everyone in the country is going to go and see it. There's no greater honour. Congratulations to the three of you. Can't wait to see what you do, do next. And thank you for the gift of West Side Story. Thank, thank you. you very much. Thank you from our hearts.